The DNR and other concerned agencies laid out their assessment on the effects of the Oriental Mendoro oil spill and what needs to be done to ensure it does not cause more damage. For its part, the DOH reminded the public knew not to expose themselves to oil spill contaminated waters to prevent any kind of health risk. Rod Lagusad has more. Only 9 out of 35 sites in Puerto Galera passed the water quality testing conducted by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. This is based on the results released on April 14 which show most areas failed in the water quality guidelines of the DNR. Kailangan po magkaroon ng pag-aaral, uh, i-analyze ng water quality dahil based po sa aming mga beta results, uh, yung lugar ng Puerto Galera based sa mga ating stations talagang medyo talagang hindi na rin maganda ang water quality even before the oil spill. He said it was not yet conclusive if the contamination was due to the oil spill. Ang usapin po natin sa Philippine Coast Guard ay kailangan po mag-undertake pa ng fingerprinting para malaman po natin talaga yung mga oil spill na nandun sa Puerto Galera ay nanggaling po dun sa vessel. On the question of the possibility of a ban on the tourism site, Environment Secretary Maria Antonia Yulo Lizaga said at the Malacanang press briefing, on the decision on the governance of this risk, ano po, this is really uh, a decision really and a pronouncement that the DOH um, will have to make. And of course, the local governments uh, will hopefully also take, uh, take uh, notice of this. Po. She said the effect of the oil spill was lessened because of the natural spill booms developed by the LGUs which are effective in absorbing the oil and diverting it. In the joint statement of DENR and Department of Health, DOH advised the public to refrain from consuming water from the affected areas. This also includes water-related occupational activities such as fishing and seaweed farming and recreational activities. The department also reminds the public to avoid eating contaminated fish, shellfish, and other seafood products. DOH warned that it may cause adverse effects on human health. Health Officer in charge under Secretary Maria Rosario Verhere emphasized that they will not wait anymore for more tests because the tests they obtained are already accurate. Magiingat po tayo because meron po tayong nakita na contamination sa tubig at kailangan po patuloy tay makipagtrabaho lang sa ating local government. We will provide them with guidance and assistance para po maging safe uli ito pong mga bodies of water natin na naitala natin in these affected areas so that we can resume occupational and recreational activities. The Department of Tourism welcomed positively the result. According to Secretary Christina Frasco, most of the nine places which pass are considered prime dive sites. In relation to the notice of DOH, the, the public is advised to proceed with caution but that no uh, swimming ban has been indicated. Only that uh, concerns have been expressed on the ingestion of water and therefore uh, our perception of uh, this joint statement is that uh, the Puerto Galera tourism continues to be open. The secretary added, there has been no direct um, attribution um, in terms of uh, the direct source of the findings considering the presence of other human and uh, economic activities in Puerto Galera. She also said that the DOT supports DNR and DOH as well as the provincial government of Oriental Mindoro. Rod Lagusad for the nation.